Welcome to Counselor's Corner. I'm Craig Hawkins, Counselor at Midland High, and this is Jill English, Counselor at Dow High. Today we're going to cover some of the important topics for the month of March. One of the first things that we do in March is to test all of our 11th graders. Uh, they have to do a state mandated test. It's a three day test that involves the ACT for the first day, work keys for the second, and the state of Michigan testing for the third. Um, all juniors will do that, and it's a really good test for kids to figure out where they're at academically. And that ACT test is a test that's required for any four-year college or university for admittance. So the kids get a good opportunity there. They should get their results back in about three weeks. That's the hope. So that then they could register for another ACT test that's given independently uh, by ACT on Saturdays that students would have to pay for. Luckily, they don't have to pay for the March test that we give them. So that's kind of the first thing that kids have to be ready for uh, for that first week in March. Another important topic in March is the AP registration. That's advanced placement testing. Students that take advanced placement courses are able to register for a test in that course so that they could potentially earn college credit. We always recommend students to make sure and contact a college to be sure those credits are gonna transfer appropriately based upon their test scores. And that registration is done in the main offices of the uh, two high schools. Usually the test is about $89 for each exam. And if they have any questions, be sure and contact your high school counselor so we can go through it. Also, AP teachers are very informed about those particular tests. And again, that will be done all through the month of March so that that registration could be completed. And then students will be actually doing those tests in May. In gearing up for next year, um, we wrapped up scheduling with all 9th through 11th grade students in the end of February. So during the month of March, you will be able to view your students' course selections on Home Access Center. And it will probably be available on Home Access Center, Home Access Center for a couple of weeks. View them with your student, and if you have any questions or concerns about the courses that they have signed up for for next year, please contact the counseling office, and we can um, look over those selections with you, and if you have any questions, we can talk with you about them, or the teacher to make sure that they are in the right course for next year. Um, something else just to remind you of is that on March 11th will be high school conferences at both Dow High and Midland High. So if you would like to attend conferences, talk with your child's teacher about any concerns that you may have, March 11th is the date to reserve for that. And then near the end of the month, on uh, the week of March 24th, both high schools will be giving the plan test to all 10th graders. And the plan test has two components to it. One part is an actual practice ACT test to help them get an idea of how the test runs, the pacing of um, how they can pace themselves so that they can have enough time to take the test. And then they will also do a career interest survey so that they can get an idea of the types of careers that they might be interested in for the future. So that wraps up the month of March. Thank you for joining us this month on Counselor's Corner, and we'll see you next time.